Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, I'm gonna do what every other YouTuber to ask you to do, and that is to hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, if you would give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about the video. And if you're not a member of the Chatterbox, which is my paid channel membership, I suggest you go ahead and do that now. It is a dollar and 99 cents to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old. So today I am here with Brayden and Brayden is the is a cuddle baby kit uh, with hands and feet by Claire Teller. Um, and he is painted by myself. I, he is still a work in progress, so he still has things that he, he needs. Um, so he will probably transform a little bit once he gets completely finished, but I couldn't resist putting him together to see how his size was going to be, how I was going to like him, so on and so forth. He is going to be a personal baby in my personal collection. Um, I painted him for myself. And he does have a story, but it's a more personal story. So I'm going to keep that to myself. But just know that he does have a story. He came with a story, just like a lot of my babies in my collection, in my personal collection. Um, but the one thing I would like to share is that I have been using Reggie Ann bodies on my cuddle babies for quite a bit. And so I really, really love those bodies. And so I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this body. So um, initially when I was waiting and I was like, oh God, I'm not going to like this. I don't, you know, what is this? <laughs> I can't, you know, I don't, I'm not going to get the weight right. It's my initial thoughts, but I did manage to get um, his waiting. To my liking, it may not be to everybody else liking, but um, he's my baby, so that's all that matters, right? So he does feel very, very like a baby, um, but I did weight him in a way that he's so he would be very flexible and poseable. Um, so I love that about about that. I think he takes a really nice form um, with his body once you know you get the weight right. And like I said, I you know I waited I waited him to be like he's very like floppy like um, because that's how I like my my newborn babies. So and he's like so squishy and I I I squish his tummy and like. <laughs> rub his tummy and stuff a lot like as if he's a um silicone like a full body silicone or something like that so for those that may not know and may not be familiar with this particular cuddle body um cuddle baby he has hands and he has all the way to his past his little wrist which i think is nice so he has that and so those are his hands so you can kind of roll the sleeves up a little bit more. Gives even more of a realism there. And then he has his feet. It goes past his little ankle bone, which is pretty cool. So that also gives him a little bit more play in his clothing. Um, and the rest of him is all cloth. So that works out. Um, he has an open mouth. And he has, you know, a little bit of a gum and a little bit of a carved tongue in there. Not super detailed inside his mouth, but it's, uh, it's enough. I don't, again, like I said, with all my cuddle babies, I don't expect a whole lot inside the mouth and don't really care as much about that part because usually you're not going to be looking inside the mouth or stretching inside the mouth to see anyway so that's never a big to do for me as much um, I do like when they have a sculpted mouth a very detailed mouth for painting purposes and stuff like that but it's not 
like a deal breaker for me. So he fits newborn very well. Um, I believe this little outfit is actually a zero to three month, but it's a smaller zero to three month size um, outfit. So he is a good newborn size baby. He's not like where you're going to be like, you know, newborn is going to be swallowing him or you can put him in both newborn and preemie. He's definitely newborn, newborn. So that I do like about him. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so it's just, you know, a matter of time before he's like fully finished. So I decided to, I will tell, and also tell you this part about him. I gave him the name Brayden because I have another baby that's a reborn that I just named Tariq for those that was in the live stream in the chat box. My mom actually, um, was on the line in that live stream and she gave me the name Tariq for my Pascal kit. And so I, I was thinking like, what name should I name him? And I had a whole nother name for him, but then I thought, oh, Brayden and Tariq would be amazing because if anybody watched Power, the series Power, and it took me like, what, a year or two to actually watch that show, a series, and I, Tariq I, was one of the main characters and his best friend was Brayden. And it's so funny because Tariq was black and Brayden was white. <laughs> so, so it worked out. They were the same age and they were in college together and stuff like that. So why not have my two newborn boys be Tariq and Brayden, okay? I typically name a lot of my babies out of characters, out of books. Um, for those that may not know, and I know this may sound crazy to some of you guys. Well, I won't even go into that, but you know, they all tend to have similar characteristics about themselves, but it's just because it's the type of books that I read. So anyway, um, I just tend to usually like the names and so I, I use the names, but yeah, so that's my, my take on the sculpt. Um, let me see. I'm going to flip him over. So, again, like I said, he still is a work in progress. But, you know, so, of course, I always like to put my babies in these little positions. Um... So I really, like I said, I I might be a little lazy and like my body is to be already weighted, but um, I actually do like this body a lot for him. And so I, I, I personally recommend using the actual body that's made especially for him. I was like, oh, I'll just put him on a Reggie Ann body if I didn't like it. But I think the body actually works really nice um, with him and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So let's see. So, and he has a nice size feet. So I'll show you his feet up close. So um, I'm very proud of myself actually with this baby because um, as you guys know, I predominantly paint uh, African-American babies, black babies biracial babies um mostly so very rare do i try my hand at painting caucasian babies i have painted a few not many maybe like three in all the babies that i picked three four i don't know not, not a lot um less than 10 i'll say that um so you and usually they're not like light <laughs> Caucasian babies either they usually have quite a bit of color to them so um, it was it was pretty fun actually challenging myself to not go cl anywhere close by to biracial on him and so um, just it just makes me feel good you know just another thing another skin tone that I am getting very comfortable with with him and I love all the details that I took the time to put into him. Um, I wanna say that it took me 
probably just as um, just about as much time as it would have taken me to paint a darker skin tone baby because of you know the way that I paint and the way that I build my colors up on the baby so um I don't know I just like I said I really 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 love that and I I just I feel like he's a very realistic sculpt too so I really really enjoy painting him as I do usually with most of my babies but I had you know again another reason why I'm just really loving the cuddle babies especially if they have hands and feet that's just like a plus he is actually the first one I have had with feet so I was kind of excited about that um the first one that had hands for me was India by Silicone Studio and so um I really found that I really like that with the hands feet is just even ice it on a cake so really cool and um so I to be honest I prefer painting these over like partials and I um I love my full body babies but I definitely <laughs> I definitely if I be completely honest I definitely enjoy the posability on the cuddle babies more than any of them um if I had to say which baby is the most cut cuddly and the most poseable I would say a cuddle baby then partial then full body and even when they're super super soft they can be as cuddly as like partials and stuff but um as far as posing go partials and cuddle babies are going to give you the most options for posing because there's so much I can do with him like I can pose him with his little feet in the air and stuff like that. So you'll get to see that in some of my pictures if you follow me on Instagram, which is Miss Renee Smith Babies. And you'll get to um, like just, you know, see how much fun I have with him and my other cuddle babies. Um, I'll be doing a lot more with my cuddle babies here soon. So... <laughs> He um he also sucks his thumb, which is pretty cool. I usually like thumb suckers anyway. So with him, like I said, I still I'm still trying to figure it all out, like make sure you know I have the weighting like exactly like I want it. I think I like it the way, love it the way I have it, but I just might add a little bit more weight to his bone but I don't know because he's he's like really good um like he, I kind of almost weighted him like a bean bag almost if <laughs> I know that sounds horrible but it's the truth I kind of that's what I kind of did in a way because he just have just mostly like um beads in him and stuff so like let me see so like you can like see I can do all types of little things with his little feet and stuff like that and I like that you can't really usually do that much with silicone you can if they have like certain type of armatures or their legs are bent in a certain way but then it's like you you gain something but you lose something like they don't usually be as fluid or as you know floppy if you do the you know the armatures and stuff like that but this baby he's still floppy he's still very poseable it's like all in one so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed seeing him and um that is all i have again thanks for watching bye bye now